am absolutely positive you have gone to numerous websites where immediately upon landing on the website, you have been prompted with this pop-up that asks you to approve the use of cookies on their website. Now, it's important for websites to alert users when any tracking technology is being used. And this actually has to do with privacy laws that require websites that collect any personal data or information to have these privacy policies and cookie consent on their website. Now, if you have a very basic website, you don't collect any data, this may not be something that you need. But even if you don't think that you are actually collecting cookies, sometimes you could be using a third party tracking tool, let's say like Google AdSense or Google Analytics or Facebook Pixel, for example, and they use a tracking technology. So therefore you're going to need to display that consent. So now that you know if you need to actually display this consent, now the question is, how do you actually go about doing that? So I want to show you a really quick and really easy way to do this. The easiest way to go about doing this is by using a service called Termageddon. Now, if you are a web agency, you can actually sign up for their referral program and they're going to give you two free policies that you can go and use on your own agency website. So there's really no reason not to do that. And then you're able to use that to then go and demonstrate to clients the importance of it. Now, I've already talked about in other videos how they can actually educate you and how there's a lot Lot of great resources that you can use that Termageddon produces in order to show website owners why this is so important and get them to sign up for this. So this is something that is really about protecting website owners. So it's a good thing to do. Now, I will say the reason that I prefer to use Termageddon is because this is going to give you auto updating policies. So this means as the laws change, which they constantly do, and they're not just changing your local area or your state, your region, or even other countries that are going to impact your website, even if it is a small local website, your policies are going to be automatically updated. So they are always fresh with the new laws without you having to do anything or stay on top of those laws. So that is why this is important. Now, recently Termageddon came up with a new feature here, and this is their cookie consent tool. Now notice that this website here already has a privacy policy in place. In order to have that privacy policy created and to have it unique to the website that you are working on, whether it's your own or a client's, you need to go through a series of questions. And I've shown you how to answer those questions in a different video, which I'll link to below if you're going to set this up for your own website. However, it is saying here that based on how the questions in that privacy policy were answered, this is alerting us that, hey, this is telling us that you need to have a cookie consent solution and cookie policy page on this particular website. So we are going to launch the cookie consent tool. Now, Termageddon has partnered with user centrics in order to be able to provide this. This is what user centrics does. So all we have to do here is a, literally agree to the user centrics terms and conditions, all of this. Um, and they are going to include this in your term in your term again package. There's nothing else you have to do as long as you get up to 20,000 website sessions per month. And if you start to go beyond that, then you'll need to upgrade your package uh, and start having a paid package with user centrics. But for many people, a lot of businesses, that is going to be good enough. So we can simply activate that cookie policy and consent. And then it's going to bring us to this tool here where we can go ahead and set this up. Now you notice we have these tabs here across the top. This is going to let us view the policy, but we can edit the policy details, which is what we're doing now. We'll override the policy. Um, we'll get an embed code so we can throw this on the website. And if we ever need to delete the policy, well, there we go. So this is going to allow us to select the appearance of how we want this to look. So as I mentioned, you'll go to these different websites and you see pop-ups or you see different ways this is displayed. So based on what you would like, you can have this appear as a button, a link, a whole banner, or even a wall as it shows here. And you can simply select the one here that you like. So, so this is going to be the uh, policy settings trigger here. We can select any color so that it works along with our color scheme on our website. And then our GDPR 
uh, appearance. How do we want that to appear, whether it is a banner at the bottom or a whole wall? Uh, and so we're going to leave that as a banner here. And if you would like to, you can have the categories for the different cookie consents displayed there versus just a, a general consent as well. So if they do click in, they want to get more information, this is what it's going to look like, either centered or on the side, how that appears. And we're going to go to the next. So as you can see, this brings us over to the next tab here. And so we're going to have our GDPR con content right here. So the title, we can leave it as the default, which is same privacy settings. Um, and as you can see, it has all the content here. But if there's anything that we want to tweak, we can go ahead and make those tweaks right here. Otherwise, we we can just leave them and go ahead and click next. And here we can select how often that banner is going to appear. So after one, after someone accepts, how many months is that pop-up not going to appear before we want to go ahead and refresh and have them accept again? We can leave that as a default for one month. And this gives them the option for closing out that, that banner that is going to appear. Go on to the next here, we can put in our domain settings. So this should uh, have of the domain here. We can put in our privacy policy page, which when we looked at the dashboard for this one, that already appeared there. That's something that we have set up. So we can put in the URL there. And we'll move on. We can see that we are almost done here. And again, we have the text just for the buttons. Again, we can just leave it as is. So we're kind of running through here really quick. And now we are on a scan page. What this is asking us to do is to put in our sitemap URL, assuming that you have one, you probably do, and you can put in that sitemap URL and then run this scan. So what this is going to do is scan the website and it's going to look for any existing cookies that are being used so that it can include those there. And as you can see, this completes everything and we can click submit. So now while we were setting up the policy, I did skip a couple of questions, just kind of running through. So it does alert you if there is anything you miss and anything you want to make sure that you do fill in here. But now we are on the embed code page here. And this is where it is going to give us an, Im an embed code. We can simply copy here. And this is where you're going to want to go to your website. You're going to want to set up a dedicated cookie policy page, and you'll be able to just add this code on that page. And that is going to make your policy appear. You want to know what it's going to look like? You can click on view policy right here. Now you're not just done quite yet. You have you have to copy this code right here as well. This is the user centric cookie consent tool instructions, and you need to add this to the header section of your website. So if you're using particular templates, a lot of them do that. I use generate press for instance, and you can go in there with the elements and you can easily set this up in there. But a lot, a lot of themes have that as well. Um, there's even WordPress plugins and so forth. If you're not familiar with how to do this and you want to copy and paste that there, once you you have that done, you can go to your website, check this out, and you're going to be up and running. So that is literally how easy it is to do. Not a big deal to get this policy added to your website and or your clients as well. I'll include links to everything you need down below to make this as easy as possible for you. If you get stuck, have any questions at all, drop a comment down below and I'll be happy to help you there. Thank you so much for spending your time here with me and watching this. Hope this helps. I'll see you next time.